guys, Jen here of Kaji Pilipinas. Welcome back to the channel. A few days ago, uh, they teased the Realme 6i. And uh, finally, uh, today, today, May 8, they uh, announced officially the uh, Realme 6i and they will have an official launch this upcoming May 13. So, syempre, para sa mga Pilipino na naghahantay ng putoktong ito, uh, hindi na kailangang itease pa because... Uh, They've already given a lot of information about it. And if you're a follower of our Facebook page, probably na kita mo yung aming live unboxing of the Realme 6i uh, today, May 8. Baka nakakalimutan natin, meron tayong giveaway for the month of May. We're giving away a Realme C3. Details are in the description down below. So, today, we're going to give you our first impressions of the device. But just to let you know, guys, here are the things that you can find inside the retail box of the Realme 6i. What you get are the following things. Uh, you get this Realme 6i. What we have here is uh, the uh, milky white variant with 4 gig and 128 gig of uh, internal storage. You also get a silicon case along with uh, warranty and uh, manuals. Kasama din dyan, of course, yung 18 watt quick charge. If you've been following Realme, you'll definitely agree that everything in the package is uh, similar to what's inside the Realme XT and also the Realme 5 Pro. Uh, the lack of uh, the earphone, which looks like it's going to be the standard nowadays for most budget to mid-range smartphones, uh, are is actually compensated with the freebies that uh, companies like Realme usually um, include when they sell this product. We don't know yet what will be the freebies, but I would think na baka may kasama na speaker, baka may kasama na earphone, we don't know. Um, we will know that, of course, by May 13. And if you're watching this beyond May 13, baka alam mo na kung ano yung presyo, at ano yung mga kasama uh, or included freebies on uh, this smartphone. So for Realme 6i, we're going to focus on three things. Tato lang muna, no? uh, for our first impressions. Uh, also, Shepard, this is one way for me to give my thoughts about the device. Uh, the first one would be possible price. Ano ba yung pwedeng presyo nito and uh, my thoughts about it. Second would be, we'll touch a bit of gaming but not in uh, you know, greater detail. Uh, we will do that once we post our full review. But we'll let you know right here and right now if uh, some of the games that you want to play are playable or not, or ano ba yung maging settings ito. Pero in so far as our full review is concerned, we will do that later on. Of course, we encourage you to check it out on our website at gadgetpilipinas.net pretty soon. And last but not the least, we're going to talk about its uh, photography features. Because this one, it features a 48 megapixel rear camera and a 16 megapixel front camera. So there's a lot of things to talk about in that particular aspect. Ngayon, pag-usapan natin yung unang-una sa lahat, which is possible price. Value for money is uh, the number one consideration of most Filipinos right now when it comes to buying a smartphone. We look for affordable smartphones that can deliver the things that we need at this time. Siyempre, nagaharap tayo ng device na affordable pero kayang-kaya niyang i-deliver lahat ng mga pangangailangan natin on a smartphone. Now, prior to the production of this video, we had an internal meeting with uh, Realme uh, for us to be able to ask some questions with us. No, They did not tell us about the price yet that we can tell you, but uh, they told us that this will be at sub 10K level. Uh, Siyempre, pagka sub 10K, if we're going to look back and try to remember the price of the Realme 5i, that was priced 6,990 pesos. No? Mura -mura. Pero this time, uh, with all the up improvements that and upgrades that this one has, we're looking at around 7,000 to 8,500 pesos, no? around the, that uh, price range. Pero, siyempre, we don't know yet because they only told us, ah, this will be sub 10K. And that is something to look forward to on May 13. Ito, pinag-usapan na namin to uh, among my friends no, and uh, my colleagues in the industry. Not just that, but also in the financial uh, sector because I'm also involved in a consultancy firm. Um, at uh, pinag-usapan nga namin na everyone's prioritizing buying uh, essential items right now rather than gadgets these days. No? However, it does not mean that we should not consider buying a new smartphone right now because we know for a fact how important these 
gadgets are right now. And in fact, sabi nga nila, no, because of the work from home setup happening right now, a lot of Filipinos are realizing that they are using probably an inadequate device, um, some a device that cannot provide them all the things that they need, therefore thinking of upgrading their devices in the future or once ECQ is over. Pero syempre, sa mga patuloy na sumusweldo, iniisip na nila na parang, this is not giving me what I want. I am not satisfied with the performance of my smartphone. I think it's time for me to upgrade. So may mga ganong klase mga Pilipino nag right now. For Realme 6i, if they price this below 10,000 pesos, uh, of course, this is something for consumers that would greatly consider and uh, it's going to be really good news, especially to a lot of Filipino uh, electronics consumers. Ngayon, pag-usapan naman natin yung uh, second thing which is gaming. A lot of you are really uh, into this and very much concerned with how capable uh, for gaming your smartphone is or this upcoming smartphone is. Minsan kasi pamantay at pag sinabing pang okay, okay sa gaming, okay yung performance. Now, I'm happy to report that when it comes to gaming, this one can really play most, if not all, of the games that you are really, really hot to play uh, this uh, season. Realme 6i allowed me to play games like Call of Duty Mobile at low settings and Mobile Legends at high frame rate settings. And to me, I, I almost realized or almost thought that probably this phone was optimized to really be able to play Mobile Legends. Kasi, lalo na sa Pilipinas, no, ang Mobile Legends, sobrang ang dami naglalaro. I have lots of friends uh, who are actually playing this game. I myself, I've, I've been playing uh, sometimes, pero hindi ako singgagaling ninyo. No? <laughs> uh, hindi ako singgagaling ninyo. But, you know, it's a, a fact that... Uh, Mobile Legends Bang Bang is really a big game and uh, well, I'm happy to inform you that this game or this smartphone rather is able to play that game at high frame rate settings. Oh, and uh, before I forget, uh, this one also does not support 5 gigahertz of frequency on Wi-Fi. So that means if you have a Wi-Fi router at home that uh, has that feature, you will not be able to see 5 gigahertz frequency. So, ano ba yung effect ito for gaming and streaming? So, for those of you who are engaged in that, uh, you might have um, some issues because kadalasan, uh, populated ng sobra ang 2.4 gigahertz na frequency. That's why some streamers and gamers would go for 5 gigahertz at the expense of them getting closer to the router. Ngayon, pag-usapan naman natin yung pangatlo which is of course the photo capability of uh, the Realme 6i. When they teased this a few days ago, they mentioned uh, that ito may 48 megapixel na rear at saka 16 megapixel na font. Uh, that is of course, those things are outstanding at their own respect because uh, ito yung hinaharap ng mga Pilipino. Pero alam naman natin na kapag uh, megapixel yung pinag-uusapan, it's not every day na pag sinabing mataas ang megapixel, eh better na yung uh, photo quality. Now, how did it go so far? As usual, it's uh, too early to say, but we managed to take some photos using the device when uh, we received it. And uh, we can definitely share that the cameras are okay for a sub 10K device. It is definitely better than the Realme 5i and uh, that should give you guys at least an idea of how this one performs in terms of camera. Now, as you can see in the photos right now, okay naman yung contrast levels niya at uh, yung level of saturation of uh, some of our photos are on point. The problem is there are some blur uh, precision issues. Uh, you can see na if you zoom in, yung buhok ko minsan may sumosobra, ganyan. It's, I think it's a... Uh, it's uh, prevalent no, in uh, most uh, budget smartphones. Dynamic range is not as good as I expected. At uh, walang pro mode yung video. I expect ko sana na magkaroon ng pro mode yung video uh, sa Realme UI, specifically on the Realme 6i. Pero nila na isama, hopefully dagdag nila kapag nagkaroon ng uh, next patch. Now, what is my initial verdict? To me, it's okay. But I have my reservations until such time that they announce the price. Eh, hindi pa nila ina-announce yung price. They only said it's sub 10K. But if they price this within 7,000 to 8,500, okay, sana nakikinig ngayon sa amin si Realme, um, I would recommend this smartphone. If not, then I would say ilabas nyo yung Realme 6 sa yung 6 Pro sa Pilipinas because that would give 
better options for the consumers. So again, that's uh, my thoughts. No, uh, pwedeng iba. No, let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. By the way, guys, uh, we have an ongoing giveaway for the month of May. Please do not forget to join. Details is in the description down below. We're giving away a Realme C3. Again, this has been GN of GadgetPilipinas.net. I hope you guys enjoyed our unboxing and first impressions of the Realme 6i. Catch you guys in the next video.